Hello families, this is Miss Chance. Today I wanted to talk to you about a feature on Canvas that may help you with understanding assignments. On Canvas, when you arrive, you will come to the teacher's home page. This is my home page. It's the page that opens up when you go to Canvas. I have my home page on what is called a page. All right. Not everything is a page. For example, announcements and assignments and modules are not on pages. They're separate. But if you go down on this list on the left to pages, okay, you'll see the same thing because the home page is a page. I'm going to go to settings now. You don't have to do this, but I want you to see it the way your student will see it. Okay. This is the student view. This is how your students will see the page. Whoops, lost my page. Okay, make sure you're on pages. If it goes back up to home, go down to pages. At the top of the page, you will see something called Immersive Reader. This is a wonderful, wonderful tool. Click on it. All right, now you see the text from my page. Instead of the pictures, you're going to see descriptions of the pictures. Now, you can make the text size bigger or, or smaller. You can change the text. Um, you can increase the spacing in words if that will help you. Okay? But this is the one I'm most interested in. You click on the book, Reading Preferences. First of all, it now has a picture dictionary. Okay? So if I click on the word here, oh, look. Here. It reads the word for you, and it tries to give you a definition in pictures of what the word means. Success. Okay, it has the word Success. in English. Okay. All right. I can even make that better. I can choose a language. So let's choose... I like to choose Portuguese, I think, since we have a lot of Portuguese people this year. All right. It says translate Portuguese by word. Now what's going to happen? Look, it's got the word in English. You can hear it in English. English. And you can hear it translated into Portuguese. English. Okay. Time. Time. This. Okay. So that could be very, very useful for you if you don't know some of the words. You can even make it more useful than that. You can click on Translate Portuguese Document. And look what happens here. <gasps> It's in Portuguese, the whole page. And now, Ajina. it tells you the Portuguese and English still. Page. It still has the picture dictionary, but now the document is in Portuguese. All right. Um, something else you can do. Let me get this out of here. I'm going to say English for a minute. So I can show you something else you can do on this page. Some of you are great at speaking English, but your reading is still not too great. So you can go down here. It's hard to see because I'm in student view. And you click the arrow. Welcome to my English for Success in Life page. If this is your first time here, Please watch. It will read it to you. Okay? 
So this could be a help to some of you who still are struggling a little bit with reading. If you don't like the way it's being read, I encourage you, please slow down the voice. All right, this is voice speed. The turtle is slow, the rabbit is fast. So please slow down the, the voice speed if you don't like that. And also, if you are translating it into another language, you can pick, well, here's, oh, rats, I lost it. Let's translate it into Portuguese again. Now, click document. When I click the arrow, Bem-vindo. Comece aqui. Bem-vindo em muitos idiomas Speak Mix. It will read it to you in, in your chosen language. All right. When you're done with it, you just click on the arrow and you're back to the page where you started. I know that doesn't translate everything for you, but this is on all of your teacher's pages. And at the very least, it will help you translate the directions for using their website. So I hope this was helpful for you. Email me if you have any questions. Thanks.